So this is the Save the World home base status report for 14th of December 2021. It's more than likely the last one we're going to get until the new year because Epic employees generally go on their holiday break around this time. And it could possibly, it could be my last home base status report that I cover as well because, I mean, let's be honest, majority of home base reports we get now are just recycled content. It's, it's the same thing over and over again. And I, I'm I'm getting a little bit bored of doing the same thing. So this could very well be the last one that I cover unless we do for any miracle actually get some brand new content in the game which I highly doubt at this stage but having said that let's quickly just go through our home base report now first thing they do note is this current venture season is ending January 24th so make sure that you are getting through all your ventures challenges your quests your holly jolly ransoms every, everything else get those sorted but you've still got plenty of time before that ends. Now, the main point on this home base report, which I think is probably the best point um, of it, they recently fetched out the ability to be able to earn Battle Pass XP through playing your general Save the World missions. When it first came out, we could earn a heck of a lot. We could level up so, so fast in our Battle Pass. At the start of this season, it was heavily nerfed. They have come up now and said that they're not quite happy the amount that has been reduced. So they have now increased uh, a noticeable increase on the XP rewarded for completing missions. So fingers crossed we can now level up our battle pass a lot lot better now. And hopefully that will be a added bonus on it. Now as for weapons and things coming back. Now we've got the pain train which is coming back December 18th. It's not my personal favorite weapon i'm not saying it's bad weapon it's just not really my kind of weapon it's a really slow fire rating weapon it does do some good damage but it's just so so slow and if you were to put on any fire rate perks on it to try and make it faster then you're taking out the damage perks that you would normally be able to put in instead so it's a really slow fire rate weapon not my kind of thing we got some f more frost knight challenges coming uh, for week four uh, you can obtain the ginger blaster from completing that now the ginger blaster although it isn't the best pistol it is a really, really fun pistol to use and it will drop you some little candy sweets when you f uh, fire it and kill husks and you can pick up those little sweets then for healing of health. So if um, if you are using a loadout and, and you're finding yourself losing a lot of health all the time, then you can just go along, pick up these little candy sweets and, and they will regenerate some of your health. So it is a really fun weapon to use and I do recommend getting the Ginger Blaster. Now, do keep a check out then between, uh, let's see, beginning December 18th uh, through to January the 1st, you will be getting some free Winter Llamas, which is always a good thing. So do keep a check out for those. Uh, make sure you do claim them from what I understand they are only available for that day So if you don't claim one on one day, you will not be able to claim two the next So do make sure that you get those on a daily basis. You can do it with your general login if uh, if you need to Now coming back on December 25th. We have the Santa's little helper uh, Apart from pot shot in my opinion. This is one of the best launchers in the game It has such a high damage rate to it and such a high impact to this weapon It is a phenomenal launcher and I highly recommend if you get nothing else from the event store this uh, season Do get the Santa's little helper. Uh, we got some more frost knight challenges coming back where you'll be able to obtain Ted um this one, I do I do recommend getting Ted. Um, I wouldn't use him for a commander. I normally use him as a support slot. Because in a support slot, he will increase your critical rating by 10 and the critical damage by 100%. So he can be extremely useful in your hero loadouts and I highly recommend him. Now, coming on January 1st, you have Monks returning to the event store. Now, Monks is by far... He's not the greatest of damage hero out there, 
but for the fun factor, he is absolutely hilarious. He will have an ability where he drops banana peels and the husks will fall on those banana peels and take damage in the process. And d d c there's nothing more fun than watching a load of husks slipping upside down on some banana peels. So I definitely recommend him for the fun factor, but for damage wise, no, he's not really going to do much good for you. Uh, more Frost Knight challenges where you get the Frostbite Sniper. Again, that is not a weapon I think I've ever used and it, it pretty much goes into the recycle. It is quite a, a quick firing sniper, but it's a scope sniper. I'm not really a fan of scope snipers in, um, in Save the World. So personally, no, I, I don't use that one at all. We do have Red Willow coming back. Um, now she generally will come with the storyline. She will have her own Red Willow's Eve storyline with it. She is a phenomenal looking skin. There was so much time and effort put on these skins. And the only downside with it is she is an Outlander and comes with the perk Holiday Surprise. At the end of phase shift triggers an explosion dealing 20 base energy damage in a 0.75 tile radius. Now she could be useful in certain loadouts as a support slot, but for the phase shift, it's not really something that you're going to use as a commander, in, in all my opinion, which means that you're not going to be able to experience the, the, the look of the actual hero itself. So I am extremely disappointed in that, as were many when it came out. But again, still one I do recommend trying to get if you can. It's, it's a really quick, short, easy quest line that you'll need to do for it so you should be able to get her quite easy uh robo kevin pack is still out for anyone who wants to purchase that as well um and that is it that is your home base status report for the 14th of december 2021 it's going to cover us over the next uh three four weeks but yeah nothing nothing new we didn't really expect anything new though we've come to expect that from now um, in case you haven't noticed, I am sort of coming, going back off of my Save the World content at the moment. I, I've kind of completed Fortnite now. I've I've done pretty much everything there is to do in this game. I I've got to the point that there is nothing more that I can do that I haven't done three or four times already. So I'm I'm moving away from that. I'm trying a few other different things on the channel, which. Hopefully, you know, some may work, some won't. We, we'll see how things go. So come the new year, there probably will be some big changes to the channel. But I hope for anyone that still is enjoying Fortnite Save the World and still has a lot left to do in it, I hope that my videos will help you out. If they do, don't forget to drop a like down below. Let me know in the comments whereabouts you are in your Save the World journey. But I hope you have a fantastic day, an awesome Christmas. I will see you on streams. Stay safe, my friends, and I will see you on the next one.